Hi and welcome to another day of our Snowview Email Deliverability Month Challenge. Have you ever wondered what metric best shows the success of your cold email campaign and grows your deliverability? It's reply rate. We've previously discussed how open and click tracking can negatively impact your deliverability if you're not using a custom tracking domain. And that isn't the only problem. New apps and systems can block tracking pixels in incoming emails or load them upfront, meaning open and click-through rate are no longer 100% reliable metrics. That's why it's more important than ever to pay attention to the reply rate, as it's the only proven metric showcasing your customers' interaction with your emails. Of course, anyone doing cold outreach would love a good reply rate. However, there is another upside to a great response rate and its email deliverability. A great response rate reflects well on your sender reputation, leading to better deliverability and email placement. So how does one achieve a good reply rate? Trustworthy look. Use branded accounts for your email campaigns and personalize your subject line. A for any reply. Ask your recipients questions, engage them in any way that provokes a reply, even if it isn't one that leads to a conversion. That said, don't play on people's emotions to get a reply. Helpfulness and curiosity are much better approaches. Warm up. We'll never get tired of repeating this. Warm up is an essential part of email deliverability, and it's crucial for your response rate too. Your emails have a small chance of being read if they land anywhere other than inbox. Plus, tools like Snobby Email Warmup automatically simulate replies for your account, growing your reputation. Always check your sender reputation. If it leaves much to be desired, start with checking your DNS records. Tools like Snobby Domain Health will show you if any necessary domain settings are missing. Work on copy, targeting, and timing. Boring emails don't produce results. Make sure you're always improving your copy, calibrating your targeting, and experimenting with timing to grow your reply rate. Skip the links. This one is controversial. After all, a link to book a call or view a detailed description of your offer is the norm, but we urge you to give another approach a try. Don't use the link. Instead, convince your prospects to reply to book a meeting or get more info by sending you an email back. Like we said, aim for any reply you can get and see if this approach works for you. Already know which tip you'll be trying? Great! Our challenge for you today is to grow your reply rate and let us know which approach worked best for you. And remember that all the factors that lead to great deliverability are interconnected, but it only takes a few small steps to increase your deliverability, engagement, and income. See you! Oh, 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 oh,